Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today, we're going to be listening to the new Falls of Raros record, Vigilance Perennial. Holy shit, amazing release right here. Killer atmospheric black metal on Bind Rune and Nordvis. So fucking good. Album of the year material right here. Serious shit. Especially if you're a fan of atmospheric black metal, this is fucking phenomenal. And today I was going through some loose CDs and uh, this whole channel was originally just only vinyl. And then I realized, you know, I, gotta, I have some uh, relics of my old collection lying around, but in loose formats like this CD version of the first Burzum and the Ashes EP and this is what I want to talk about today because this is fucking essential black metal second wave Norwegian just absolutely in the words of Fenris right on the fucking money and that's what the sound is on this recording. Um, Varg, aka Count Grishoff, is just seriously, like, again, like the blueprint for the second wave of black metal. I said before was kind of perfected with Dark Thrones Transylvanian Hunger, where this, you know, was kind of one of the first, like, really, I hate using the word, but true Norwegian second wave black metal releases. And it just, when this came out, like, totally opened up the scene and blew up because, like, like it was on a, a real non-demo tape format, even though production-wise, like, if you watch the Until the Light Takes Us documentary when uh, Varg is discussing this, the first album and whatnot, he's talking about how he just wanted the worst equipment possible in the recording studio to help capture this just kind of anti what was going on down in Florida in more sound studios, just kind of like pretty much an anti-death metal like statement which ended up turning into a movement and towards the end of things the murder of you know a couple of human beings from different cliques and whatnot and a lot of talented musicians doing jail time just by taking the music a little bit more serious than they should have like they really were looking at some of those first wave black metal bands and, you know, were taking the evil lyrics and evil content really to heart. And it is what it is. I mean, I understand sometimes when I read old interviews and, you know, Samoth is explaining, like, alongside Varg as well, like, why did you burn down these churches? And these churches were built on top of their culture's ancient religious like runes and uh, you know sacrificial stones and whatnot like pretty much the equivalent of a holy place for a Christian or any type of religion is where the like when the crusades and whatnot were going on and that was what they would do they would erect like a church and a christian holy place on top of a heathen holy place and pretty much say like hey you're either gonna follow our fucking rules and follow our god or pay the fucking consequences like and it's crazy because i understand like from a you know philosophical standpoint like it makes sense to you know 
want to destroy your enemy that is, you know, Christianity, and that's a way of doing it. But also, sonically, like, this album has more to do with Dungeons and, D and Dragons than anything else, and it's awesome. Like, it's cold as shit riff-wise. It's just amazing. Like, everything about, like I said, the self-titled and the Ashes EP. It's essential black metal from the second wave. And when I saw it, I just was like, oh shit, I haven't listened to this in a while. And it's just an amazing release. And you know, as much of a shithead as Varg is, his early material is awesome, like musically. And lyrically, he's not being an idiot either. Like, this is just some straight up black metal awesomeness. And I'm sure the majority of you already know how good the Ashes EP is, and especially the self titled Burzum re release. And uh, I have no idea who released this version. But, um, yeah, it came with, uh, both releases on it, and I picked this up probably around 2004 from Relapse Records, but, um, yeah, you should always keep your cases and whatnot. I used to have a CD book, and then would have my cases where my magazine and my record player is and shit, so, yeah, always keep your cases, but... Burzum, self-titled, and Ashes, just absolute essential second wave black metal goodness. And next time around, this is going to get some of you super stoked, especially uh, Pat. Disembowelment, fuck yeah. CD version, this is a... Uh, just the full length, um, not the demo material or the uh, Dusk EP that's on disc two, I think. But this is the first full length. Hell fucking yeah. And we will get into this relapse reissue next time. But for now, um, that's going to end this episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog, and I know we didn't go over vinyl, we went over some CD Carnage, so thanks for watching CD Carnage, I guess it's a little side outlet of Vital Vinyl Vlog. We could even throw cassettes underneath this um, format. Cassette Carnage, CD Carnage, whatever, it doesn't matter. What does matter though is both of these releases, I wish I still had the cases for and uh yeah Burzum self-titled and ashes absolutely needs to be in your collection in some way shape or form and yes Varg is a shithead and um you shouldn't listen to a word he says he is an unreliable narrator for the most part in every way shape and form and also if you want a good laugh or if you want some interesting black metal stories from, you know, the black circle and whatnot in Norway, check out Varg's YouTube channel. I mean, it's pretty insane and uh, he has a lot of shit I do not agree with at all politically and stuff. But for a good laugh and uh, also for a good history lesson, if you're into history, the guy kind of knows his stuff. but. He is a shithead, but this album is pretty much, in the words of Fenris, again, on the fucking money when it comes to the second wave of Scandinavian black metal. And we have been listening to the new Falls of Raros release on Bind Room Recordings. I can't recommend this album enough. This is so fucking good. Killer US black metal from Maine. On the more atmospheric side of things, you will hear tons of Aglock, Panopticon, just awesome stuff on here. It really captures pretty much what Maine looks like in a sonic format, and it's fucking incredible. So get into this record. Check out my release of it yesterday. Don't mind the numbers, it was hacked and whatnot, but whatever. 
that was the past. This is the future slash present. And, um, yeah, I can't recommend this release enough. I can't wait to pick this up on vinyl. Again, thank you, Pat. And, uh, yeah, you were listening to Falls of Raros, Vigilant Perennial, fucking A, on Vine Rune and Nordvis Recordings. Picking this up, you are also helping out a fellow brother of metal, Marty Worm. His family, uh, his wife kind of fell on some hard times and they need your help. So far, the metal community has raised over 15 fucking grand, which is awesome. Like, seriously, you guys are amazing. And even if you if you go and just buy an album, you're helping out in the long run with, um, you know, Marty's situation. And you're getting some killer music because I've honestly never heard, and I'm not just saying this, a bad release from Bind Rune or Nordvis. So, if you've been listening to how beautiful this record is, like, seriously, get into Falls of Raros. And, yeah, thanks again for watching. I love you guys. And, yeah, keep it fucking brutal. Stay deaf.